Welcome in this edition of Kuru Chetra we'll be discussing about two important facets of life one is health the other is environment so in the field of health we have seen that there are numerous countries who have done breakthrough research and india can definitely follow those lines for example medical atm is a very unique concept in south africa so where you have pharmas inaccessible hospitals inaccessible medical atms have worked wonders and similar concepts could be brought in to india so with our uh, online movement or we can say digital health initiatives one of the important breakthrough development that we have seen is online registration system which would be a common registration system for all patients then ayushman bharat health account for digital health records of everyone remote health care as i said mentioning uh, through the help of remote atm facilities <clears throat> increasing internet of medical things that is providing healthcare facilities to the remote areas by other super specialized doctors this could be through telemedicine through uh, the various ai tools and techniques that could be used consultation in uh, the pre operative post operative period and also uh, sometimes it too happens that people have to travel for more than 1 hour to avail just 10 minutes of consultation those all hurdles can be significantly reduced saving the time reducing the cost and increasing the penetration of proper healthcare in rural indias in india then again we focus on developing incubation centers under atal innovation mission through this innovation centers we try to bring in better technologies and development for the well being of the masses in this section healthcare has been one of the major aspects so trap is a innovative technique which talks about treatment response assessment and predictions and uh, mainly during the critical critical care period uh, there has been one healthcare which is zifitech digital healthcare which has introduced a platform zifi health now this uh has been released through maharashtra where you have a smooth flow of uh, healthcare delivery system similarly there is volar alta startup which is incubated under the aic rabindra tagore university madhya pradesh and this is based on drone services so minimizing the time bringing in better penetration better safety measures and focusing on hard to reach locations The next is e sanjeevni opd portals now this is again a new initiative by the ministry of health and family welfare to bring in faster opd registration reduce time avoid waiting lines and therefore bring in better developments the next is natural resources environment section we would focus on so here natural resource conservation when we talk about environment it includes all entities natural man made uh, based on their interrelationships and uh, importance to humanity so there has been a national environment policy in 2006 which talks about intergenerational equity Uh, livelihood security bringing in environmental resource use and resources for environmental conservation panchmitra is where we are talking about moving from fossil to non fossil sources including renewable energy by 2030 bringing in various legislations for environment and forest protection so list of those have been cited here now under the technological interventions by ministry of forest and climate change we have parivesh which is proactive and response facilitation by interactive and environmental single window hub now this has been launched in 2018 it would provide a single registration and single platform for all types of clearances be it forest be it wildlife be it environmental clear clearance or coastal clearances so it will bring in more accountability efficiency and consistency in the system uh, bringing in a proper decision support system then we have various portals for example climate change knowledge portal indian wetland por portal portal for himalayan studies now these are the specific segments in which we have worked uh, specifically and brought in tremendous developments uh, there is again a draft report for national science technology and innovation policy and this brings in both short term medium term and long term project missions along with it also focusing on uh, the various scholarship programs for example science olympiads kvpy which is kishore vigyanik uh, protsahan yojana Uh, again we have few schemes for example pm kisan digital payment uh, egg market egg market net 
so uh, pm kisan digital is where you have uh, money going into three installments of 6000 uh, the total amount of 6000 in three installments going directly to the farmers to the eligible farmers eggmark net is a platform where it is government to customer and this is a e-governance portal which caters to the farmers the industries and the policy maker then the various digital technologies being brought so indian digital ecosystem agricultural framework would lay down the database for the farmers bringing in a e-governance plan for agriculture the uh, agricultural mechanization focusing on the roadmap for uh, food and nutritional uh, sec uh, security purpose bringing in soil health and fertility projects so integrated nutrient management through implementation of soil health cards then we also have agricultural infrastructure fund now this would benefit not only the farmers but also the self-help groups the state agencies and the credit societies the farmer producer organizations fpo linked to it we also have a suvidha app which is for the kisans or the farmers and this is a mobile application to understand any kind of unprecedented uh, weather changes climatic phenomena the market price of the commodity and all related aspects which are required for agriculture the soil testing use of drone is another important aspect so under farmer producer organization 75 percent of the grant for purchase of drones has been given to farmer on the field and there have been various uh, institutions collaborating for example the national agricultural research system actually has more than 100 research institutes 63 state agricultural universities three central agricultural universities uh, and then there are 82 different coordinated projects working across each of these segments also focusing on economies technology and innovation in the rural area by bringing genetic engineering quantum computing and internet of things uh, fast verification through the government apis and bringing in finances through to the uh, non-banking financial companies or the small financial banks in the rural areas so also developing an agriculture information system which would monitor all kind of information for environmental deterioration soil uh, deforestation uh, and so on then other important schemes Tara, which is technological advancement for rural areas. This would focus on science and technology incubators. Ishram by the Ministry of Labor for creating the Ishram cards for providing benefits. Buy now, pay later scheme. That means you can buy or take the credit right now, use the fertilizers and then uh, fund it later. So Honda has partnered with Canara Bank. Similarly, uh, Chola Mandalam Investment and Finance Company has financed for two wheeler financing. Uh, so there are various different ways through which uh, these developments in the field of agriculture have been taking place. Coming on to non-conventional energy sources, fossil fuel accounts for 75% of the greenhouse gas emissions and 90% of the carbon dioxide emissions. And therefore, measures have been taken under various conventions. For example, under Kyoto Protocol, we have made it uh, mandatory for the industrialized uh, countries to commit on to reducing the greenhouse gas emissions. Under the Paris Agreement, we are limiting the amount of temperature rise to pre-industrial level or below 2 degrees Celsius creating various renewable portals for example ultra mega renewable energy park focusing on pm kusum yojana for de-dieselization that means bringing in solar pumps for solarization bringing in national hydrogen mission for making green hydrogen hubs uh, bringing in wind energy policy wind solar hybrid policies so those are some of those which have been cited then there are various challenges that should be brought in uh, into account for example uh, issues related to green financing, issues related to uh, the development in the field of renewable sources of energy. India Stack and Aadhaar are another important uh, platform. India Stack is a unified uh, software platform. Uh, this would be uh, defined uh, with a set of open APIs and uh, digital public goods and would bring in the identity data and payment processes at one, uh, one point. UPI, as we are much aware with in our common usage, we have been 
using our upi on a huge scale it was not rolled out long back it was just in 2017 but the percentage of people working with upi have significantly increased and the valuation in terms of transaction through upi have significantly increased the next is iccc which is the integrated command and control center now this monitors the central technology for the smart city mission uh across india and these have been converted into the major centers during the time of covid as well it measures various uh, platforms for example transport traffic management uh, adaptive control systems parking systems and so on similarly we do have smart water future technology to reduce uh, the non revenue water also to encourage the waste water recycling so those are two of the important areas water scarcity is a big challenge across of india so checking out active leakages pressure management man maintaining the speed and the quality proper repair time uh, smart solutions which includes gis internet of things smart meters for recording the usage by every uh, customer use of virtual and augmented reality also uh, there have been some examples now these are interesting case studies i won't uh, discuss it here but these can be cited in your answer writing for smart water management so for example andhra pradesh uh, smart water solution platform is one of the amazing platforms using piezometer uh, similarly we have science and development science and technology programs for women now women in science and technology during the last 50 years or five decades have been important Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar uh, was given to only eight women when it was initially started, but now we have seen numerous women being part of it. Uh, Dr. Manju Sharma was the first woman president of Indian Academy of Sciences in India and later secretary to Department of Biotechnology. There are various task forces. For example, National Task Force for Women in Science. Uh, there is Women Scientist Scheme. Also, there is a Curie program that is to increase the number of women in science and technology, and thereby bringing in more skill development. Mobility scheme, which talks about uh, uh, relocation, retransfers. Uh, then there is a biotechnology career advancement program under the BioCare name, and. very important is indian academy of sciences which formed a panel for women in science in 2005 and there was a book known as leelavathi daughters the women scientists of india and another one a girl guide uh, to the life in science both of them have been an uh, exceptional works in promoting science in women uh, then the application of science and technology for the welfare there have been various uh, technological advancement which have brought or made the life simple for the women not only in the rural areas but in the urban areas as well there are more than 2000 projects which have been sponsored and 500 technologies which have been percolated for example simple ones to cite would be shelling of the maize uh, shelling of the coconuts training women for such innovative methods to increase the speed and efficiency The next is Gati scheme by DST, which is Gender Advancement for Transforming Institutions, bringing in diversity, equity, and inclusion. Uh, participation of pilot institutions, creating more practices, providing training and support for the same. So those are some of the important topics that we have discussed in this Kurukshetra edition. Wish you very good luck. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to connect back to us. You can comment below or email us to admin at examrace dot com. We'll be more than happy to resolve your doubts. Thanks for joining us.